Churches have been doing this for years and were even encouraged by former President Donald Trump to flout the IRS, the IRS rule against churches endorsing candidates. According to a report published by ProPublica and the Texas Tribune, black and white churches have been pushing the limits of this IRS rule for decades. But consider these distinctions highlighted in the report. While some black churches have crossed the line into political endorsements, the long legacy of political activism in these churches stands in sharp contrast to white evangelical churches, where some pastors argue devout Christians must take control of government positions, said Robert Wuthnow, the former director of the Princeton University Center for the Study of Religion. Wuthnow said long-standing voter outreach efforts inside black churches, such as Souls to the Polls, which encourages voting on Sundays after church services, largely stay within the boundaries of the law. The black church has been so keenly aware of its marginalized position, he said. The black church historically was the one place where black people could mobilize, could organize, could feel that they had some power at the local level. The white evangelical church has power. It's in office. It's always had power. The article notes that in the nearly 70 years of the Johnson Amendment's existence, only two churches have ever lost their tax-exempt status for violating the law.